Hi, everyone. I wanted to do this video because I found an actual good use for that chat GPT that people are talking about this week. And all the bloggers are going nuts because they're like, this is going to ruin blogging. It really isn't depending on what kind of blog that you write, because I put some of my stuff into it, like questions about cake decorating and that kind of thing. It doesn't give the best answers as far as like nuance. But I started thinking if you're just doing things that are very basic and very dry and very straightforward, could it write a good product description? And I think that this is going to help some people. Let's go over into it and I'll show you how it works. Before I get into how it works, just very quickly, I want to show you, I went to the terms of use because I'm thinking about copyright because this is basically going to spit copy out for you. And then can we use it because it's creating it. So does the open AI I own the copyright or can we use it? And it says basically that they are assigning us the right title and interest into the output, which is what they're producing. I still wouldn't use this verbatim. I would go in and kind of rewrite things. Like I said, this is not good with nuance. It's not good. And it does have a warning that it says it can produce stuff that is incorrect. That's down here somewhere. It also says it could be giving other people the same stuff. It's not such a big deal if you're just using it for very basic description kind of templated stuff. But if you're looking for a full blog article, I would not use this for that yet. You're still going to have to go in and do a lot of rewriting. So don't just copy and paste it. Go in and read it. If there's anything that's incorrect, change it and you'll be fine. We're going to go to chat.openai.com and there are other types of services. This is the newest one and everyone is freaking out about it this week. For now, it's free. Okay, so I would do this now because eventually they'll start charging for it. There are a lot of AI writing services that you can put something in and it'll spit out content for you. And they charge for that. But right now, this is still learning. It's still being tested. They're still trying to improve it. So we'll see what happens with that. But for right now, this is free. Just go in and get some basic descriptions written that you can save and reuse. To do this, what you're going to do is go down here. Now, if at any point it says you've used up all your free credits or whatever, it's it that's not right. Just click reset through thread and it will basically kick it back into where you can type stuff in. So I'm going to put in, write a description for a beaded bracelet made from natural stones with brass fittings. And then I'm going to add some more keywords so that this is going to add the keywords to whatever it writes, because whatever you're putting in here, it's going to kick out some content that has that in it. You want to tell it to write a description. You want to put your keywords in there and then we're going to press the button and see what happens. All right. So the command that I'm giving it is write a description for a beaded bracelet made from natural stones with brass fittings. And then I'm adding keywords in. So I'm putting essential oil, diffuser bracelet, lava stones, gemstones, amethyst, unisex. Now what this is going to do is create a description based on that because I've told it to write a description. I want to see how many of these keywords it actually adds and how well it does because this is supposed to be natural language. They also say in the terms of use that they can use whatever output comes out to teach this thing how to phrase things better. And the, the aim with this is to have natural language. So let's just hit this and this is what it's going to do. It is making the description and what we're going to do is go back and read this after it's completely done and see what happened, <laughs> like see how good it is. This beautiful bracelet is made from natural stones, including lava stones and amethyst gemstones. The brass fittings add a touch of elegance and the bracelet also doubles as an essential oil diffuser. The unisex design means it can be worn by anyone, adding a touch of natural beauty to any outfit. Simply add a few drops of your favorite essential oil to the lava stones and enjoy the therapeutic benefits all day long. That's a pretty good description. It includes all the keywords. It's very basic. It's not like a personality kind of thing. It's not a step-by-step -step how to do something. It's just the description that they wrote based on the keywords that you gave it. This is great. Okay. If you suck at writing, I would hop on this right now and get about, you know, how many, how many templates do you need? You could use this same template for so many of your listings if you sell beaded bracelets that are made from gemstones. Switch out the amethyst for the different one, you know, whatever the stone, whatever the bracelet's made from. If the word brass isn't right, add gold, add silver, whatever it happens to be. Google doesn't care about duplicate content. And I want to make that very clear. If you think that Google cares, if you put the same content on all of your descriptions, you are wrong and don't worry about it. And if it did, then all the people who have copied my blog articles wouldn't be ranking on page one, but they do. They steal my blog articles. They're on page one. It's duplicate content. Google doesn't care. Don't worry about that. What I would do right now while this is free is go through and have like, just have it write basic descriptions for a lot of stuff that you have in your shop, and then take those and put them in a library of templates that you can then use later. 
If you suck at writing, this is going to make it a lot easier for you. And it's an easy way to add descriptions that have keywords. And this is just a really good example of how it's super simple to add keywords to a description in a natural way. Remember that it does say that it will give you incorrect information though. So you need to make sure that you are checking this. Let's do another one just to show what it might do. I'm going to do, I'm going to do something about Gothic home decor because I'm going to do a keyword list for that this afternoon and I'll see what it says. All right. So the instructions that I'll be giving you, write a description for Gothic home decor. And then I've added the keywords, dark art, goth, quirky, witchy, wall art, home furnishings, home decorating. I'm going to click the arrow. Let's see what it does. Oh, this unique home decor is perfect for fans of Gothic and dark art. The wall art features quirky witchy designs that are sure to add a touch of mystery and sophistication to any space. The home furnishings are made from high quality materials and are built to last, making them a great investment for anyone looking to add a touch of Gothic charm to their home. Whether you're a diehard goth or just appreciate the darker side of decor, these pieces are sure to be a hit in your home. That's a really good description. It includes all the keywords. Use it. Take this template. You can change things out. Like I said, if you don't like the word witchy, take it out. This is just a very good way for people to write fast descriptions. Again, if you are a blogger, don't worry about this too much because depending on what kind of blog you write, it can't give people steps to do stuff with nuance. And that's what it's missing. Maybe as this progresses, that will be a thing. But the one thing I would say is that this is getting information from somewhere. And regardless of what people say about, oh, it's not it's not scraping content. It's not copying things. It's copying information from somewhere. So just be sure to go through and kind of rewrite things a little bit, add stuff to it, make things specific to your listing. But you can use these as templates to kind of guide you in writing. And if you really hate writing descriptions, this makes it really easy. So go give it a try. At this point, like I said, it's free. You know, if you're watching this after it's free, it's probably still worth paying for a month of it just to go in and really use it to get a lot of stuff templated that you can then use in multiple listings. Leave me any questions, give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you later.